Hi, I am Parag Bhargav. I am a professor in the Metallurgical Engineering and Material Science Department here at IIT Bombay. My research interests are in particulate materials and specifically in ceramics, powder metallurgy, metal powders, uh, applications like materials for dental, uh, crowns, prosthesis, uh, high temperature insulation, uh, structural ceramic parts are the kind of things that I have been interested in. Uh, this particular project that we are undertaking under Tata Center is on silver paste for solar photovoltaic applications. Uh, the silver paste are needed for making the electrical contacts on silicon solar cells and these silver paste are screen printed over silicon solar cells. So, it is the same technology all over the world that is currently in use. These silver paste, the screen printed silver paste, it is known that they constitute about 8 to 10 percent of the cost of the solar cells. Now, the reason we were got interested in this project is uh, India now has a policy, the government has declared a policy under the Jawaharlal Nehru National Solar Mission under which India is going to increasingly have solar photovoltaic installations. It is projected that by about 2020 or 2022, we will have about 100 gigawatts of solar installation which is quite significant. Now, as we go into in such installations and have increasing manufacturing in the country, there is a need that is felt to have some of the components produced indigenously and one of them is silver paste and that is why we have taken up the uh, research and eventually possibly production of silver paste in India. So, the technology behind this uh, silver paste for screen printing involves or rather starts from synthesizing the silver powder itself. So, we have been undertaking silver powder synthesis in our lab of all sizes morphologies and once we have synthesized these silver powders, we then eventually mix them with other ingredients. There are a couple of important ingredients, one of them being glass. So, there is a speciality glass that is used with this silver paste which helps it to achieve the electrical contact during the uh, heat treatment of these uh, solar cells with the screen printed silver paste over it. The other major ingredients are uh, different kinds of organic additives and solvents which essentially decide the flow behavior of the silver paste. Now, for anything to be screen printed very well, uh, we call the, the or we use the term called rheology. So, the rheology or the flow behavior of silver paste has to be actually uh, sort of designed by adding these different components and, and different ratios. So, so, that is the technology part. Also to uh, relate to some uh, day to day use of this technology, uh, screen printing is used for printing on fabrics, most commonly on t-shirts. So, the technology is almost similar to that, though the machines may be more sophisticated. The users of these technology are going to be uh, companies which are manufacturing uh, silicon solar cells. And there can be other users as well which we have realized uh, over, the, over the years when as or rather when we started working on uh, silver paste. So, companies which make heaters for example or companies which make biosensors, those also can be users of these silver paste. So, the current state of the work uh, on silver paste in our lab is that we have been able to formulate these pastes, we have been able to achieve a mixing such that we are able to get homogeneous paste, we have been able to take these paste and screen them, screen print them at a company in, in, uh, in a pilot plant level and uh, uh, right now we feel that based on our initial trials, we may need to modify our composition, modify little bit of the rheology. Although as, as I said, our initial trials have shown that we are able to make good electrical contact. So, functionally the pastes look good but we need to improve on the printability of these pastes. So, as soon as these pastes are uh, ready, which we expect to be doing in about, uh, about a year's time, then we will be ready to go again and make uh, do the trials of printing of this silver paste in commercial settings at different manufacturers. For trials in the lab for this project, we use this uh, simple machine. This is the screen printer that we have. And here is what a screen looks like. So, you can see that there are some patterns, so which is through which we print our silver paste and this screen is placed in a frame in the machine and here is where the substrate is held on which we are printing our silver paste and this particular thing is the squeezy which up through its motion eventually prints the pattern on the substrate.